Today is the day. An end of an era. End of an era. Hey, baby girl. We got clothes on the farm today. You know this? Huh? You were sleeping hard. I didn't mean to wake you up. <laughs> sleeping hard. <laughs> oh, man. I don't care what we close on as long as we bring her bed with us. Yeah. She got to have that bed. She got to have that cot. Whoo. She fell through one just, just this past week. Yeah. That one's lasted a long time, I it must has, say. But we always have a reserve. <laughs> Thankfully. Thankfully. They, uh, our buddy Paul has, a. Uh, fixed her beds up and yep. he, he's made them last way longer yes she was going through them yeah frequently. you're like once a month we had to buy a new cover for it foxy what you doing this morning girl it feels good this morning she's just a smelling look at her oh she said something's over there something's over there gotta go Get check you it in a minute girl <laughs> it is a uh, beautiful weather today it's yeah. been kind of rough the last few days. It has. Uh, it feels it feels better this morning. Who knows what this afternoon will bring? But look. I see leaves are starting to fall. Leaves are starting to fall. I think this is about your favorite time of the year. It right is. Now. This is getting close to my time of year. I don't mind cold weather like you and me, and Carl. Um, but yeah, this this is this is me. But it is a uh, big day today. This will be officially, technically. Officially, the last day we own Car Kill. That's right. We got a few more days though. This this isn't our last day here. Uh, we got several days before the new owners take ownership and are actually here. Well, no, you shouldn't say it that way. They take ownership today. Well, they take ownership today, but they're not going to live here or be here physically for a few more days. So few we got days. a little bit more time. Uh, we're fixing to like uh, I got to finish up the chicken coop the uh, egg mobile got to paint the floor and what else was it i do one build more build the roost build the roost that's it get that done and we'll move it on over into the chicken paddock and then we'll start uh you need to cut grass i do and then we'll start loading animals and taking that's our right. animals on that's right that's gonna be exciting that's gonna be exciting i mean you and... never know what what can yeah go wrong or right when yeah. you go to move animals. That's right. I got Nuggets enclosure put together. It's ready. Uh, I don't have Scott's yet. <clears throat> so I'll start working on it. Scott, we, we discussed Scott's not a... Caged animal. He's not a caged animal and he's not a... Uh, what are, what am I saying? It's not... He's important. It's not that he's not important, but he's not a... Uh, he's not going to be a hindrance to anybody as well far as yeah so we may the new owners may he's, be here he's down here in the yeah. middle of the road waiting on us so scott may be later down the road you know just just as soon as we can get exactly. his pen put together we will do so but he may and be it, one of the last things to one of my, that's right that's what i'm trying to say well you went a long way around I trying to get there thing. i don't want to say he wasn't important because he is important i don't want to but so, he is free range, whereas most everything else has a place where they're stationed. Yes. yes. How about and, it, Joe? You ready? And Scott's got a heck of an enclosure I got to put together. Joe, Joe! Look at Joe. He is looking marvelous. Don't even Joe look good. Like Nuggets enclosure, it said it took two hours, and I think it took me half a day. Well, but it said three people, and I agree with that because it should have took three I people. I anticipated that that was going to be a little more yeah. undertaken than what they said yeah um, especially because we're double teaming stuff right now i'm over there doing stuff over there you're over here doing stuff that needs to be done here so hear yeah foxy i hear foxy and bear just took off too yeah, he did. she certainly smelled something she did so we're just gonna kind of walk around i think and talk about what needs to be moved yeah that'll work and what we will what will involve this next week yes as we start to uh transition to the 40. So, we have the new coop that was brought in on the last video. Yeah. And we are going to eventually put the silkies in that. That's right. However, it's going to take some time for it to get ready. Yes. So, we're contemplating doing a hoop like what we use for the beet chickens mm -hmm. to house the silkies in temporary while we get the the uh, coop actually yeah and i think that's what we're gonna do um, we're just gonna build a, a hoop house 
I guess two of them. Yeah. One for the boys, one for the girls, and the silky. Yeah, we've got all the stuff that it it takes to make it, so um, I think we'll do that for them. Then we've got Mary Carl's um, bantams that she's got in this coop. Yeah. We can just obviously pick this coop up and put it on the trailer and put the chickens in cages and transfer them. Yep. And we could probably do these guys at, well, girls, at the same time that are back there. Those are her Araconas and some grow outs that she has. Yep. Um, now, as far as the goats, we have their porta huts yeah. that are already over there. That's correct. Their fencing is complete. The goats are ready. So, other than their their uh, wire spools and picnic tables yes, and, and, and we've got the water to, buckets, um, yeah. we've got to get some wood and put it on our fence mm -hmm. to where we can hang their buckets. Right. And, Bootsy, what do you think about all this? Here comes Tuck. Hey, baby. Yeah, Tucker, Mary Carl put a blue collar on Tucker. Did yeah. I tell you about that? Tucker's got a blue collar on and pink. Has a pink collar. Has a pink collar. Well, it's not really pink. It's like smiley faces. But it's got some pink in it. It does have some pink in it. Bootsy, are you ready to go, girl? I think the goats are going to be the most happiest. Well, what do you think? Who do you think we should move first? Um, you know, I guess it really doesn't matter. To be honest with you, for some reason I have boys on my mind, but it really doesn't matter, honestly. Well, um... I think we ought to get the side-by-side -side and park it, the trailer, right up to it. What do you think? I think that'd be a good idea. Um, actually, we can have it hooked up to the vehicle, uh -huh. and we won't have to unhook it. Okay. I didn't know if we could get it square up on it. Oh, I can't. <laughs> the trailer master. Are you second-guessing me? The trailer master. All right, and so then we have a lot of ducks and geese. And we got, or you and Mary Carl have got them all locked up, for the most part, inside the coop. Yes, so you can see they're mingling with nuggets. They right are. Now. Nugget, I think you just bumped your head on the musky dime, buddy. Are they coming on? Oh, I do see some, don't they? The, the green's coming back. The fruit has passed its day. Okay. Are you ready for your big move? It's going to uh, be interesting to see if we can get Nugget on the trailer. Oh, yeah. I, well. I think we can get him on there. I just, it's, um, it's not going to be the, the most ideal situation to get him over there, but we're going to make it work. Yeah. Aren't we, buddy? You're going to have a lot of room to roam, and that's what's important. A lot of room. Um, we've got the turkeys. Yes. We've got turkeys back there, and the kennel that yeah. has the green roof on it. Yes. We can pick up their enclosure and take it over there. However, we're thinking we'll put the turkeys in with the chickens in the chicken tractor so they can free range. Right. Um, we can keep them locked up with the chickens for a couple of weeks and they learn their territory and they won't have to be cooped up anymore because Scott will be in an enclosure this yep. go around. Yep. And, and Scott's we, got a big enclosure. It's big. Then we have the hookbill and the two Egyptian geese. Yes. And the hookbill's friend, the black Indian runner. One of the men in black. Yeah. So, yeah. um, we can pick up their enclosure, put it on the trailer and put them in a cage. <laughs> Tell them about it. And then we have the sweet shop that will be moved, hopefully, uh, the first part of this next week. Yes. You have disconnected the power, taken the hot water heater out. That's correct. Taking the little air conditioner off. Yep, the all that's done. The deck is disconnected. Yep. It just needs to be pulled out. And we've often thought that we could move it ourselves. However, our trailer is not wide enough. It would have to be cocked sideways because of the wheel wells. Yep. And another thing is, if we load it with a tractor over here, and we put it on our trailer, yeah. how will we get it off if the tractor's here? Right, we can't haul both at the same time. So, so we're kind of thinking that um, we'll stick with our original plan of paying somebody to move this, as well as the brooder house. Yes. They can move it all at one time. It won't be that costly. That's right. And it'll save us a couple of trips and a lot of headache. Um... So what are the first animals you think we ought to move? I'm thinking the goats. Well, you know, Mary Carl just told me that she wanted to move her bantams today, and I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah. Um, I think that I think that the chickens need to be one of the last things. Yeah, I'm thinking the goats. I get the goats on over there, and I would like to run. I, I don't think I've mentioned it yet on here that I 
Um, we got some electric wire and all the stuff to put electric fencing up from Gallagher Fencing, who's a new sponsor of our channel. And so they sent us all that stuff and I'm going to run electric wire at the bottom for sure. And I'm thinking about putting one possibly around the top as well in case something was to jump and try to climb up. And so it would be, you know, nothing's 100% foolproof for predators. Right. But that's going to be pretty darn rough. That's um, right. Do you it, think we need to put it around the goats and everything? I'm going to put it around the whole okay. paddocks, the whole thing. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's my plan. And then we've got peaches. We got peaches. And we haven't talked about peaches enclosure. We plan to use one of the porta huts yes. to let peaches um, sleep under, and we put her cot under there. Yeah. It'll be her very own. We thought about that, and I told you yesterday that we may get her one of those shelter lodges like we got the pigs, yeah, too. Yeah, we could do that. Um, but nonetheless, we have something for temporary yeah. until we fine. figure out you know, what we're going to do. Right. And, uh, somebody said we hadn't talked about peaches housing too much, um, but that is our plan. Yeah, peaches would probably more than likely, I'm thinking, remind me, we'll go ahead and order one of those Shelters? shelter lodges for and we'll put it over by the camper, maybe? I say put it over there by the camper. Okay. And well, you've got a little fencing that we may put up for her in that little thing for a few weeks until she gets... We don't want her... You know, I don't think Peaches is going to go anywhere, and I don't think she'll well, she go doesn't know our boundaries, far, so. but this is a totally new area, so we definitely... We don't want her wandering off and us having to go on a manhunt for her. Nugget said, let's get this party started. <laughs> Are you, you ready, ready, Nugget? Buddy? Nugget's ready. Tucker, Nugget are you ready? is ready. Look at her. Tucker is ready. We hadn't talked about the cats either. And we have an enclosure for all of the cats. Yes. I have researched about what to do with cats when you take them to a new location. And I've read that they need to stay in an enclosure for two weeks to mm -hmm. learn where their home is. And we have enclosures for all the cats. Um, Tucker and Pink will stay together. And then I've got an enclosure for mom's cats, Angora, Miss Beasley, Mort. Sassy, Sassy man. man. Sassy man's going to stay in the house. Yeah. Um, Is he the only I, one staying in the house? Well, Allegedly. Mort's kind of in and out. Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure if we'll just okay. put a crate in there for more. I, I don't know. You. But nonetheless, uh, we have plans for all of okay. them. Okay. Good deal. So I'm ready to go close on a house. Yeah, we're fixing to go close on the Cog Hill Farm. And what closing involves is just signing paperwork, deeding yep. your property over to a new owner yep, and so making it all official. Making it official. It's done by a lawyer, so we got to go to town and go to the lawyer's office and get that handled. there will be once we're no longer Gone. there yeah you know? i mean we've been back and forth so much till you just you don't know in, until you can't go back yeah we're just you know not even thinking we're just going through the motions of getting stuff moved and and it's just been you know hectic and it's been a whirlwind. anxious and so you know the emotional part of it of us actually leaving hasn't, ha hit. hasn't hit yet so it would be interesting to see if if uh if there will be any i don't know i, I don't know either. yeah i mean that's just something that you, you you don't know until it actually happens right and i don't know that signing papers is going to be the the deciding factor yeah um, i think it'll just be once we get to the point where we can't go back but today will be the the finale as far as saying goodbye to what has been ours for the last 17 years and I know we've had people ask, and I know we've kind of talked about it somewhat, especially in great detail in the podcast, but why in the world would we want to leave the original car keel? And it's just space. We've run out of space, and there's some things that we want to do that we can't do there. Uh, of course, we want a bigger garden area. I want to start a flower farm. That's been a passion of mine, especially Mary Carl's interested in that. Uh, we want more room for our animals so we just it's all about space yeah and there have been a lot of times when um, mary carl has been interested in adding different things to the farm and we have no more room to expand correct we are so, maxed out um 
to, to be able to follow her interest in dreams and ours as well it just was a must that we have more space and right now where where cog hill farm is located there are there are woods surrounding both sides that are owned by um two different owners and the the ability to buy that land and turn it into usable land for us was just not it was not going to happen and uh the, the area where we're moving to is kind of a central location closer to markets if we if we do get deep into flower farming and possibly market gardening and pasture eggs we'll have a bigger market area there that's as opposed to where we are now so it's basically all about passion i mean that's that's what it amounts to this that's is right. what we're passionate about and we were just maxed out and we could no longer grow where we were call it an end to the original cog hill farm and carry on at the new 40. and it will still be called cog hill farm. it will and, and by the way <laughs> the reason it was called cog hill farm is because why jason it's the name of the road we lived on we will continue on the name cog hill farm just because that that's us time for a change out with the old in with the new and sometimes change is good well sometimes it is but you know it may take some getting used to it's yeah yet to be determined that's right This is an old elevator. You hear? It's one story and it takes like five minutes. <laughs> it says you can only fit three people. Three people only. It's still, still waiting. <laughs> there we go. Fancy it. <laughs> Floor number two. Floor number two. Come on in. Well. We've mm -hmm. just signed paperwork. It is signed and we are, he's gonna go file it. And he's gone to the courthouse to file it and um, we no longer own Cog Hill Farm. We no longer own it. So we've got our, <laughs> our copies here of where we signed and it's over. It's over. I don't know if I'm feeling stress-free or not. <laughs> Oh, One step closer, how about that? That'll work, yeah.